Hello world, Shelly here and it's time for another episode of Foundation Fest and today I'm checking out a K-Beauty Foundation. This is from Etude, formerly known as Etude House. This is the Double Lasting Foundation. It retails for $24.60, but it's almost always on sale on YesStyle and I've got a discount code with them. I do earn a small commission if you use my link at no cost to you. This, where was I? I was going to say something really important about this. SPF 35 <laughs> PA2 Plus comes in 12 different shades, which is getting, getting up there for a South Korean made foundation. This is described as a reformulation or in their words, a renewal version of Etude House's best-selling liquid foundation. Sometimes the, the translations to English kill me. It adheres smoothly and stays put on your face for the whole day, featuring a powerful, long-lasting power. Its lightweight and buildable texture conceals the spots and blemishes perfectly. Shake before use, of course. I got this in shade Natural Beige, which is 21N1. One thing that I'm gathering from the shade naming, so a lot of brands in the K-Beauty realm will follow that, like number 13 is this particular shade, number 21 is this particular shade, 23, and so on. This one actually seems to follow that lightness to darkness, but has different undertones. So they have a 21 with a cool one, and a 21 with a warm one, and a 21 with a neutral one. So, bravo! Pleased to see that. At least that's how I'm interpreting it based on what it looks like from the shades and what the numbering seems to be doing. So that is my guess as to what's going on there. Let's take a look at Neutral Beige swatched against a few others in my collection. Swatch time. First up is today's foundation from Etude, the Double Lasting Foundation in shade Neutral Beige. Second is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place in 1C1 Cool Bone. Third up is Max Studio Sculpt in NW15. And last, I've got the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator in Fair. I've already cleansed, moisturized, and sunscreened this 49-year-old face. I will go in, wow, I'm doing this all backwards. I'm gonna go in with a damn sponge. This is my ghost sponge from Wet n Wild. I don't know if you can still get it. If you can, I will link it down below. Other side, I will use my BK Beauty 101. Let's check the consistency on this guy. All right. Now I'm usually a shade 21 in a lot of the K-Beauty brands like the Misha Perfect Cover, but this one actually looks a little light, which, you know, I've been trying to go darker when in doubt because it seems like going light tends to make my skin look older. But we will see if we can make this work. I have to go to work, so that's a challenge. Uh, super sheer applied with the sponge. Eh, maybe the littlest bit of color correction happening. I think a lot soaked into the sponge, which it is a pretty thin formula. Let's try the brush. They do in their instructions say you can go either way, sponge or brush. This is very heavily fragranced. I am smelling perfume, lots of perfume. In the ingredients, it does have fragrance listed. It's toward the end of the list, but this smells like perfume to me. I don't have an overly sensitive nose. It's not that I can't smell. I can smell things just fine, but like scents don't usually bother me. And this one's pretty strong. So if it seems like it's strong to me, it's probably very strong to someone that has sensitivity to scent. And I'm not talking about like a skin reaction to fragrance. That's a whole nother ball game. Some people's skin reacts Fragrance is one of those ingredients that can make your skin respond in an irritated way. I don't have that problem, so I don't explicitly avoid fragrance, but I wish it wasn't there. I try to avoid it when I can. Yeah, the coverage is definitely better with 
the brush. I would say it's still light coverage. This is probably my winter shade for sure. Let's try and even this out a little bit. Although I do think it's drying down a smidge darker than it appears on first placement. So that's good because it seemed just a little too light, but it seems to be settling down. Okay. All right, let's blend this out. They say to pat in for better absorption, but like that's usually a skincare thing. So I'm just gonna stipple a little bit as far as my application goes. And maybe that will stand in for <laughs> patting for better absorption. I don't usually think of my foundation as absorbing into my skin. Maybe, maybe it is. I don't know. Do you hear Ziva scratching things? <sighs> I must not have paid her enough attention when she was on the chair. Okay. Now, I still have a little bit of peeling going on, but, you know, <laughs> when is that not true? And it's definitely clinging to the little peelies that are up here by my eyebrow. So I'm going to try to get the focus off of the edges of that peeling skin. Alright, let me get a look at what we got going on here. Ah, uh, it's just kind of sitting on top of the skin in a few places. Like this part of my cheek here, when we zoom, when I zoom you guys in, you'll be able to see this part of my cheek. It's just kind of sitting on top of the skin and not settling down. I don't think I really have too much peeling there. Um, eh, chin looks a little cakey. It looks a little heavy on my nose. It's not, it's not really melding together, so to speak. I can see it sitting on top of the skin, just over on my cheek over here. Let's zoom in so you guys can see what's going on. It's, it just, it's not, um, oh, I don't know. It's really cakey. Okay, let's, let's start from the bottom and go up. Uh, it's just a little bit heavy on my chin. It's not settling down, but I can still kind of see some redness poking through at the same time. So it's, I feel like it's not creating that sort of even sheet of coverage, if that makes sense. It's a little heavy on my cheeks. It's a little heavy on my nose. It's kind of sitting on top of the skin on my cheeks. It's kind of clinging to the sides of my temples. It's really, really gross looking in between my eyebrows. I'm probably going to go in after I shut the camera down with some like micellar water and try to clean that up and then maybe just apply the most minimal amount of product there because it just really does not look good there. And it just looks a little heavy on my forehead. It's kind of like emphasizing my lines and this one's just not looking good. It's, it's kind of feels like the, the worst of a matte. It's a matte finish for sure, it's, but it looks really dry and heavy. It hasn't completely set down yet. It's still a little sticky, so we'll see if it... Okay, let's just pat it in. They say pat it in for absorption. There, I need a lot of absorption right here. <laughs> and I need a lot of absorption right here. All right, I'm patting. I'm, I'm doing the patting, y'all. We are patting. I actually enjoy that. Like when I do my skincare, I very often pat my my essences in, like my toners, because it feels nice. <sighs> yeah, that didn't seem to change anything. <laughs> Not only do I have to go to work today, I have my final evaluation of people sitting in on my class to evaluate my teaching for promotion. <sighs> and I'm going to have this face on. This, this is what... So what we're going to do, we're going to bronze the heck out of this so that uh, the areas that are looking bad at least will be covered in bronzer. That's going to have to be the plan because I don't have time to redo my face. It's 1127. Let me go put the rest of my face on. I will be right back.
oh, you guys, I can't fix this, and I really can't go to work looking like this. Like, this, this won't, I just can't, it, it's, ugh, it's, <laughs> I, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Okay, so, the, what we're gonna do with this is, uh, I'm gonna take a makeup wipe, I'm gonna wipe this off my face, I'm going to, I already started putting bronzer on, I was trying to fix it. This whole, ugh, no, uh, what we're gonna do is, for proof that this isn't just my terrible face, I mean, yes, my face is challenging right now, I, I, yes, it is, but what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put Dior on right now. <laughs> And you're gonna see that even though it won't be perfect because my face is incredibly challenging right now, it's gonna be wearable. And uh, oh, so now all my skincare's gone. Oh, that makes me mad. All right, I need some moisturizer. I'm gonna do my Jones Road oil free moisturizer. And I'm gonna need some SPF. You guys, I have literally like 30 minutes before I have to leave for work. Mm. Okay, I got that little piece of moisturizer that comes out of the tip of the tube when it's like clogging. Okay, that's that and I need some SPF. SPF, uh, we're gonna do the Good Molecules Mineral Sunscreen. Cause that's what I keep here at my vanity. Ah. Okay, okay, I know, I know. This is an unconventional foundation review, but the etude, uh, if I had to give it a grade, it's getting an F. It's unwearable. I cannot wear it. It looks terrible. My skin's not even dry right now. It's just I had that little incident with that Amazon foundation that basically made all my flesh fall off my face. Okay, here we are. Fresh start. Dior. This is the new one. I don't even want to wear a full face. I should grab my MAC instead. All right, we'll just do Dior because it's, it's also similarly matte. So we'll have like a fair comparison here. This is going to have to be the fastest makeup application of all time. Oh, there's moisturizer on my nose. It's all right. We're still going to make this work. We're going to make this work. All right, let's get that. Oh, I can't get rid of the blob. The blob. All right, BK Beauty 101, go. Dun, 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 dun. The shade is much better. It's not even clinging. It's not even clinging. It's not my face, you guys. It's not my face. I know my face is challenging, but but it's not that bad. Dang, this foundation's pretty. Oh, it's so good. If you didn't see my first take on it, it was last week, I think. Okay. And just for funsies, I'm going to zoom you in so you can see that it's not my face. It was the foundation. Okay, here we go. No primer, by the way. I didn't have primer on the other one either. What am I doing? <laughs> I do this so you can see if it settles into my smile lines and my chin line. Look how smooth my nose is. Look at that. Look, nothing, 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 nothing caking, nothing caking. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my goodness. What a day, what a day. Well, I guess you already know that. Uh, yeah, the E2 Double Lasting Foundation. Okay, here's the thing. When I have a foundation that totally bombs on me and it's no good on me, I will still try it two more times. I give everything three tries. You know, three strikes and you're out, right? I will try it two more times off camera on days when I don't have to go anywhere. I'm working from home, whatever, to see if there's anything that I can do to make it work. Try it with a primer, try it without a primer, try it any way, like I try to make them work. And if there's something that makes it work, 
you might have seen, there's probably three entire episodes in all of my hundreds of foundation reviews where I came back and did a foundation follow-up. And that's just notes about things I was able to do to make lesser performing foundations work well. But the thing is, that so rarely happens. I really don't have any foundations that I would change the grade on. I mean, that's just... That's just, just, I've, I really haven't really come across any of them. The Merit Stick is probably one that's a little bit better than it was my first time. And I do think that having a shade that's too light affected that one. The House Labs, it got a good review the first time I wore it, but I think I like it even more now. I mean, bravo, it's, it's beautiful. Uh, uh, I think that's probably all. That's all. I've reviewed over 300 foundations. Uh, yeah. so I will try it again just to make sure it wasn't a bad face day, but I hope I've just proven to you that it's not my face, it's the foundation. Let me cap up my Dior before I forget, and then it spills and a cat knocks it down and my brand new bottle gets destroyed. So, if I had to give a grade to the E2 Double Lasting Foundation, I'm thinking it is not for me. I have to give it an F. I will try it again and see if it works. Uh, any better, if I can do anything to make it perform any better than it did today, but, uh, yeah. And just to prevent you from being left on this cliffhanger, let me go put the rest of my face on and I will be right back. Here is the finished look, and with the universe throwing foundation curveballs at me, I filmed another video, and I got, like, one minute left until I have to leave for work. I did, I got all these Maybelline, uh, color tattoo pencils, uh, eyeshadow stick pencils. I think this is Maybelline. I hope so, because that's what I've been saying in that whole video. Yeah, Maybelline. And I got these ColourPop ones you've seen me use. That's what I did this eye look with. So the I all drugstore, except, of course, the Dior Foundation. <laughs> all right, all right. I got to go to work. I got to go to work. Uh, sorry, Etude. You bummed me out. Such is life. Uh, you're not going to work for me. I will try it again. I will keep you guys posted. If you don't hear any update about it, that means I could not get it working. Womp womp. Such is life. Uh, anyway, I don't know if this look is going to go up before or after this video, but yeah. Universe, I'm coming for you. I'm com I'm, uh, uh, I'm puffing up. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm, I got this day. Grabbing this day by the horns. That's what I'm doing. All right. I got to go to work. I got to calm down because I'm being evaluated today. Gotta get it all out of me now. Get it all out of me now. As always, thanks a lot for taking some time out of your day to geek out over makeup with me. Let me know in the in the foundation. Wow. Let me know in the comments. What would you like to see next? What foundations do you want to see me review? What am I missing? What should I pick up at Yes Style? I'm on a Yes Style kick and I've been writing down, not while well, typing, in my phone. All of the recommendations you guys are making for brands and products that I need to try from Yes Style. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. All right, I need to go relax. I need to drive to work. I need to chill the heck out. This caffeine is probably not helping. I appreciate you guys. <laughs> Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Take that day by the horns. And if it's already night, then take tomorrow by the horns. You got this. You got this. I got this. We all got this. As always, thanks a lot for taking some time out of your day to geek out over makeup with me. I appreciate your time, and I hope you guys all have an awesome day or night wherever you are in the world. Take care of each other. Bye-bye.